You know, I went on World Net Daily. There's an issue about Obama's birth certificate that keeps coming up. And I have gone around this question for a long while because I it's not that I doubted Joe at all. I know Joe Farah is a very brilliant man and a very honorable man. I, I've always supported him. But I felt that the birth certificate issue was one I shouldn't get into in that even if it was found that Obama was not a citizen and even if it was found that he's not constitutionally eligible to be president, do you actually think that they would remove him from the office? Do you think so? I don't know. But I just read his article on the uh, certification of live birth story. And you know what I found? There was really more to the story than meets the eye. Let me let me read you one paragraph on the birth certificate issue of Obama. Because even O'Reilly, as you well know, the go-along, get-along, false conservative O'Reilly, Entertainment Tonight O'Reilly, has come out and said, Megan, I'm certainly sure that Obama is a U.S. citizen. And Megan crossed her legs, licked her lips, and said, Really, Master Bill, how do you know that, Master Bill? And Bill said, Well, because, little lady, here, you see the newspaper article showing that he was born there? That's how I know. And the little lady, Megan Kelly, crossed and uncrossed her legs again and licked and unlipped her lips again and said, Thank you, Master Bill. I feel much better now. But what I'm reading here is that the certification of live birth posted online and widely touted as Obama's birth certificate does not in any way prove he was born in Hawaii since the same short-form document is easily obtainable for children not born in Hawaii. And they say that the true long-form birth certificate, which includes information such as the name of the birth hospital and attending physician, is the only document that can prove Obama was born in Hawaii, but to date he has not permitted its release for public or press scrutiny. And they go a step further. They say, oddly, though congressional hearings were held to determine whether Senator John McCain was constitutionally eligibly president as a natural born citizen. That's because he was born in the in the uh, uh, in the in the Panama in Panama because his father was an admiral. No controlling legal authority ever sought to verify Obama's claim to Hawaiian birth. You know, this is not the only um, uh, um, piece of information about Obama that we don't really know anything about. His records from high school sealed. His records from college sealed. Where he uh, what he wrote in college sealed. What his wife wrote in college sealed. He is the most secretive president, and the secrets about him are greater than any president in American history. Isn't that interesting? I thought this was going to be the most open administration in history, right? Right, sure.